Hi guys, today I want to talk about the nature and properties of alpha, beta and gamma radiation. So what is alpha radiation? Well, it's a particle, uh, which is basically a helium nucleus going very, very fast, uh, which is made of two protons and two neutrons. It's got a positive charge of plus two. Well, that's a relative charge because of the two protons. Uh, it's blocked by paper or about 10 centimeters of air, and it is deflected in magnetic and electric fields. And here I've got the equation uh, for what happens when a nucleus decays and releases an alpha particle. Well, the nucleon number goes down by 4. So whatever nucleon number you started off with, A, well, that reduces by 4 because two protons and two neutrons, well, four nucleons have been lost from the nucleus. And also the proton number reduces by 2 because you've just lost two protons in those four nucleons that left. Beta radiation. So beta radiation is a particle, and in fact it's actually a very high speed electron. It's got a negative charge, a relative negative charge of minus one. It's blocked by a few millimeters of aluminium, and it is also deflected by magnetic and electric fields just like the uh, alpha particle. Now this time, the nucleon number doesn't change. A beta particle is not a nucleon, so uh, the nucleon or atomic mass number does not change but and this often confuses students the proton number actually becomes bigger now why does it become bigger that's because a neutron inside the nucleus has actually spontaneously turned into a proton and released a beta particle or an electron gamma radiation now, gamma radiation, gamma is the only type of radiation that's actually a electromagnetic wave. It's a high frequency electromagnetic wave. It's got no charge. It's blocked by very thick lead sheets or very, very thick concrete. And it's not deflected in magnetic or electric fields. And here, well, when a nucleus releases a you know, gamma wave, uh, it goes from being a metastable to a stable state. But the uh, uh, the nucleon number and the proton number does not change. Deflections in electric fields. Well, uh, firstly the beta particle, it's approximately eight, no sorry, it's approximately about, uh, yeah it is about 8,000 times lighter than a alpha particle so it's very easily deflected and it's going to be deflected in an electric field towards the positive plate the alpha particle, which is much heavier than our little uh, beta particle counterpart, well, that's not going to be deflected by as much. And no, once it leaves the electrical field, it actually carries on in a straight line. The gamma radiation, uh, that is not affected by an electric field, so that goes all the way, all the way through. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Uh, bye for now. Congratulations, you have entered the warp zone. Click four, three, or two. Goodbye for now.